to the Daft Hunks. Back again for another episode. Oh yeah, baby. Uh, what, what's this song we're listening this to song here? song is uh, from a fan favorite. Uh, Black Midi. Black Midi, one of the yes. great, great bands of our time. Oh yeah. Uh, shout out we'll, Talking we'll Heads. We'll probably be talking track. about them in 45 years. Wow. Yeah. We'll talk about the Schlagenheim. Yeah. Hopefully we're still doing this shit in our late 60s. Yeah, uh, obviously. Know. Obviously. <laughs> uh, what, yeah, we're talking Talking Heads 77 today. We're talking Talking Heads, which yeah. Which is... Uh, what? 50, wait, 45 years I know, years I ago? was doing the math in my in That's my impossible car. It's math. For, it's 45, 45 years, years yeah. ago. It's yeah. like kind of an inch. It's like a 23 plus 22 on yeah. the two sides. Of no, they, they made it really easy for us on this because we're looking for specifically for sevens and twos. Yes. You know, something with a five yeah. or ten year anniversary and talking heads. We were like, oh, this one dropped in 77. 77. So like, we can certainly talk about Just that picturing this year. an album called like 22. Oh yeah, yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen one. Fun. Someone will do it. Black Midi 23. Black Midi we'll 23. We'll see you next year. Um, yeah, this is the first release from Talking Heads. It's the one, yeah. Yeah. It has, a, the, I would say, their biggest hit yeah. in Psycho Killer nowadays. Yeah. yeah. And maybe their Burning most, Down the House is bigger, but... No, that's their most streamed song. For sure, yeah. I yeah. feel like that's the one people know nowadays. Yeah. Uh, but that's going to be 10 tracks in. There's a lot more to talk about here. There's like a whole album of pretty, pretty solid Talking Heads content. Underrated album. Like, I don't know. I think... Yeah, people... I mean, honestly, they have such a... A solid body of work, like yeah. especially the first five albums or whatever. Where you yeah, have Fear of Music, Remain in Light, and I I really like uh, more okay. songs about building some food. Yeah, that one's good. <laughs> I, I like speaking in tongues more more okay. than others. I think. Yeah. Um, but this, Talking Head seventy seven has some great tracks too. Yeah, we'll get into no it like very, just off the bat, just an interesting band. Like yeah. I can't imagine hearing this like knowing nothing about talking heads and oh just yeah like, what no. in the hell is this? and we're, we're <laughs> and we are obviously big david byrne heads yeah just like the man not even like necessarily yeah. his music just like as a david man. byrne is man we're, we're fans. fans we are david byrne man fans yeah yeah and like we we did talk remain in light i believe uh yeah we talked a couple it, years back. that was when we were doing different style of episodes where yeah, we would yeah, just yeah. talk about like five albums we'll have to revisit like that because we didn't give it i feel like we didn't give it the full uh no because we, prob- we probably deserved. talked about it for 20 minutes and then i also think we talked about like <laughs> it could be anything it, i think we talked about uh doja cat on yeah, that episode that's possible, i think like, we talked about just uh, disrespected Village, the work Village on that episode disrespected the work but uh no that that's obviously a classic and that's probably yeah i mean we could record. revisit it next year yeah okay perfect uh i guess wasn't no that's it's an 81 record that's an 81 we can revisit that in a couple of years a couple years it's really yeah we'll get there do you want to go into track one let's do it track one from uh oh talking heads 77 uh oh love comes to town you know that feeling you know that (laughs) feeling just sitting there and then oh god love just came to town Right out of fucking Parliament yeah. Funkadelic right here. <laughs> Just some 70s ding, funk. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, and I wonder, like, obviously at this time they had the same uh, band, like, uh, members. Like, yeah, was I was there. I was reading about kind of the origins. It, it's interesting to have a band where it's four people from the first album to yeah. the last album. Yeah. No, nothing changed. So they're all there. Yeah. yeah, but it was originally Chris France and David Byrne. Mm-hmm. Were, were, they were cooking together in art school or whatever. Yeah, right, right. Um, and Tina, Tina was in the mix. Was in the mix, married to yeah, Chris or dating yeah. Chris at the time. Yeah. Eventually, she learned the bass, joined the band. Yeah. And then uh, the fourth member, Jerry Harrison, is a member of the Modern Lovers. Yeah. Who, uh, I remember, yeah. Made this band what it is. You know, you got you need a, a, a Modern Lovers member to yeah. really make your band stand out. No, it's out. pretty fascinating. I know... Like, it's kind of David Byrne's, like, uh, baby. Like, I don't know. He, like, started writing. He, like, he wrote Psycho Killer and, like, oh, yeah. needed to put a band together and sort of met no, he's, these people. No, he's the man. He's yeah, the man. and, like, uh, no, I, I, I heard an interview once with Jerry Harrison, that guy, and he's, mm-hmm. like, like, he just joined the Modern Lovers because he was, like, there was no one like John Richmond. <laughs> and then, like, the same happened for David Byrne. So he's, like, like, I just no need like to work with either. this guy. Yeah. No, yeah, right. I thought that was fascinating. There was like a, I was just reading through like Wikipedia and stuff, and there was like a funny yeah. story. They said initially Jerry was not was not quite impressed with their live performance. He needed to to be convinced by them getting a record deal to eventually okay. join the band. But I'm sure once you worked with uh, Dave for a little bit, you, you he's like this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's exactly. got some interesting ideas. Yeah. Well, we can we can talk about a uh, oh, love comes to town a, a bit. It's just kind of just like a a fun a fun tune. Yeah. It sort of sets the tone for like, I don't know, like this is Talking Heads. Yeah. Like just like he's screaming some of this shit. He's like, 
I've been to college, I've been to school. I've met the people that yeah. you read about in books. Here comes a riddle, here come a clue. If you were really smart, you'd know what to do when I say, yeah. jet pilot gone out of control, ship captain on the ground, stockbroker make a bad investment. When, when love has come to town. town. Love just... It ruins everyone. all, yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty, it's a simple ass yeah. premise. It's also, yeah, it's like, uh-oh. Talking Heads comes to town. Talking it's Heads like, is here. We're here. No, I actually think this is about the band Love. Yeah, it's uh, about the band Love. It's, uh-oh, watch Guys, out every other band. I don't know if you love saw this, but like, Love's yeah. coming to our town. Yeah, because like they're leaving SoCal, y'all. They're, up fly, everything. they're flying out to New York. <laughs> yeah. Also, this is just, the album cover is so, so simple. I, oh, I yeah. honestly love it. It's like, Talking Heads, colon, 77. That's, that's all you need, Yeah, man. That's really it. Just the... Red, <laughs> red, and then green. the bright green, like yeah. two colors, not really going no, together. But it's it, amazing. It works. It's like it pops just like yeah. the music, honestly. Yeah. Does. Very simple. Love, Waylon, David at the end of the track there. Yeah. Oh. Love's come to town. It's track two, new feeling. I like this this initial riff here. Yeah, very like old fashioned, like classic Rocky. Yeah, this one kind of reminds me of like a, a Minutemen song, sure, sure. another like similar time frame of band doing post-punk. We saw Minutemen recently. We a, did, yeah, that's facts. We, we saw Mike Watt in The Missing yeah. Men yeah, uh, yeah. for a brief 10 to 15 brief, minutes. Maybe 3 p.m. set. He ripped it up, though, in like the yeah, Pasadena sun. Hard. Yeah, it's, it's, just a, it's just a fact. <laughs> it's not yesterday anymore. I go visiting. I talk loud. Yeah. I try to make myself clear in front of a face that's nearer. Just like balladry oh, in the middle. That's just so bouncy too. Like this, they've got their rhythm down. Like yeah, I don't know. No, honestly, this it's very reminiscent. Of listening what, to this album, stuff. I haven't listened to Talking Heads '77 much, but they already sound fully yeah exactly fleshed yeah. out as Talking Heads. And it's on almost this like first album. very simple, very like clean, like even cleaner than like a Remain in Light. Yeah, no, where I, there's like all the like beeps and stuff in the background you know like there's like no there's uh, not these are more elements are are much more yeah, minimalistic yeah. Just, songs almost just guys like and a, and a lady as well guys ripping it up on their instruments yeah <laughs> it is a million years ago yeah i hear music music <laughs> crazy sounds like bells i mean this is the 70s but they already sound coked out <laughs> Oh yeah, no, certainly. I mean, you I have don't know. to imagine. Yeah, so. are... one of my my favorite things to to do on here is look at what was like uh, charting at the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, I'm curious. And so I looked at when Psycho Killer peaked on the charts at yeah. number 92 uh, in March of 1978, yeah. and I think it's just a bunch of disco up on the on the charts. Up on the yeah. charts here, we got the Bee Gees at the... number six and number two. The number one song actually, I think, is pretty solid. But we can we want to cut to thick. Andy Gibb. Yeah, let's get to Andy Gibb. Is it love is thicker than love is thicker than water? Right? Water? Okay. Love is thicker than blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Emotion by Samantha. Also a song Sang, about love. I've never yeah. heard of. You got dance, dance, dance by Chic. That's a banger okay. right there. <laughs> Just the way you are, Billy Joel. Hey, yeah, we got some Billy Joel and Barry Manilow up no, there this too. This is pure so. uh, BG's like golden period. Yeah, this is yeah. when like the CBGB is taking down disco as yeah. we hear this album. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I just want to cut to Andy Gibb really quick. Here's Andy Gibb. <laughs> it, it's not very... I guess it's sort of disco. A little slower tempo. There's some disco there. It's there. You can see David Byrne belting this out. Yeah, they should cover this. Should have covered this. They should have covered the Andy Gibb. Ooh, okay. A little tasteful. Sure. It's almost like kind of modern indie sort of. In no, you could drop this. Could yeah, be like yeah. a, a Mac DeMarco yeah, song yeah. almost. There's like some bedroom pop here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Andy Gibb was Andy dropping Gibb. Look at this bedroom pop guy. <laughs> he looks kind of like like fucking Steve from uh, Stranger Things. Mm -hmm. Low key. I don't know if you. I don't know that reference. Okay. It's like a leather shirt on. <laughs> Not a bad song. A fine song. I just recognized it. Yeah. No, I like yeah. the name Andy Gibb. Andy Not Gibb. Not name I've ever heard in my life before today. Yeah. So Number one hit wonder. Number one, number one. I yeah, guess. Andy Gibb. Maybe he had other hits too. Who knows? I'm not sure. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Tentative Decisions. Classic Talking Tentative Heads title. Tentative Decisions. 
another tidbit on the Wikipedia page was that Lou Reed heard this one. Mm -hmm. He was considering signing them. It didn't work out, I guess. Lou Reed. He said, uh, yeah. yeah. He said this one they need to slow it down a little bit. <laughs> that was. Uh, uh, they need note. to slow this track down. Yes. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> Imagine this like 1.25 yeah. times sped up. Okay. Ooh. I love drum. this this Great. part. <laughs> Yeah. You just hear those like so vocal strange. like yeah. wails by David the boy. <laughs> yeah. Like just it's, it's like just he's such a weird song. Like yeah. Oh yeah. The boys want to talk. Yeah. Would like to talk about those problems. And the girls say that they are concerned with decisiveness. And it's hard logic to follow. And the girls get lost. <laughs> and the boys say they're concerned. I'm just imagining like no some 14 year old boys on one side yeah. of a room, 14 year old girls on one side of the room. Yeah, like this just dramatic debating. drum beat, like <laughs> the boys. I could see a great like camp music yeah, video yeah, to yeah, this. Yeah, like, absolutely. Yeah. The boys, yeah. they are concerned. They're like kind of running at each other. Going to away. war, yeah. yeah. Then they just get confused. <laughs> drum is great. I th a lot of the percussion throughout yeah. this this whole album is is really yeah. unique. And here it's just shout out Chris France. Shout out Chris shout on out the cocaine. I mean. <laughs> you have to. You, have you really to. have to. Yeah. Here, there's an yeah. interesting tidbit on Genius here. <laughs> uh, on the apparently on the lyrics that were listed on the album here. Yeah. It says to repeat that chorus uh, with a reversal of gender. Okay. Quote unquote. That's okay. the. So just like, yeah, no discernible like point being made. Like no, it's just like, yeah, just, the girls want to talk, the boys are concerned. The yeah. boys want to talk, the girls, the girls are concerned. concerned. Who do know? Girls get lost. Good boys get lost. Yeah, everyone's yeah. everyone's confused. So I love just uh, he has the best like, it's a hard logic to follow. Like it's just oh, such just a weird line. Weird, yeah, weird yeah. turns of phrase. Exactly. Yeah. I'm gonna give the problem to you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like you're gonna tell me about your problem? You're yeah. gonna give me a pro like I don't even know what that means. I'm gonna give my problem to you. You're gonna like it's get yours. rid of your problem by yours. giving it nah. to me? Oh shoot, man. <laughs> I guess the next album was uh more songs. It was more songs, yeah. Which is a very similar vibe. I love uh Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know. There's like some great tracks on there, like I just love there's a track titled The Good Thing. <laughs> like it's just such a similar like well, I don't know. Outro, right? Yeah. Great, great album on that. More songs about buildings and food. Still, yeah. pro like if I someone asked me like, what's your favorite album title? That's that's, yeah, that's it right there. Like it's just title. an yeah. album that tells you what it's about. <laughs> it's so funny. Tentative decisions. Yeah. Yeah. Great. It bangs though. Like yeah, it's no, a it strange throughout. song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but oh, the boys, they are concerned. Here's happy day. Yeah, genius Ooh. description on here. Arguably the most Piano. optimistic and warm song from Talking Heads' first album. Such a naive melody would not be heard again until the <laughs> nice. early 80s. Clever. Wow, what a what a play. Clever. So clever. Happy Day. You think Lou was like, I've got a song Ooh, somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Mission concept. <laughs> it's so funky. Yeah, so like. It's so funky and then he's groovy. just, the way he sings is incredibly yeah, no unique. i think this album even more like he's it's almost like he's at more at the top of the mix like he's just like yeah raw <laughs> yeah we like we started this with a black midi song yeah and just like it's pretty similar they're similar in yeah. kind of the things they do the Yo, crooning yeah, 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 that yeah. jordy grieve does yeah it's hard yeah such a happy day for me day. that's like crazy day. wait all kyle out for a yeah second. You said that little like I don't, I don't even know what that is. It's in the just background. like I think it's like a acoustic guitar. Yeah, Some it's just like percussion. being barely, barely yeah, it's, pressed. It's trippy. It's, it's weird. Got some little twinkles in the back. Yeah. This is just a happy song yeah. for a happy day. I wonder like how this album was received. Like, I I, I really don't know the history. Yeah, I, I, I did want to pull one quote actually. Do you know what? Let me find it real quick. Have you heard of? Robert Christgau, yeah, just like yeah, a yeah, like yeah. music critic from the seventies, the fan of the seventies, literally. Yeah, yeah, here's the. If you want to pause actually for a second, it's kind of a long. Yeah, I'll pause. Okay, this, uh, this, this is Robert Christgau in his sparks. review of seventy seven. This quote mentions Sparks. Oh yeah, and yes, perfect. Uh, like Sparks, <laughs> these are spoiled kids, yes. but without the callowness or adolescent misogyny, like <laughs> yes, they are wimps. 
but without vagueness or cheap romanticism. Every tinkling uh. harmony is righted with a screech. Every self-help homily contextualized dramatically. So that in the end, the record proves not only that the detachment of craft can coexist with a frightening intensity of feeling, something most artists know, but that the most inarticulate rage can be rationalized, which means they're punks after all. Interesting. Difficult okay. quote to get through. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, what is he saying? What does he mean? It ended up being positive. positive. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, yeah, you know, you didn't like, expect it. For like the Sparks, they're spoiled. spoiled. Like, yes, they're <laughs> <wits. laughs> All our hit favorites. I know. We did also just see Sparks. We saw like Sparks. Five days ago. Yeah. And they went They went hard. It was fascinating went performance. Crazy. It's so yeah. strange. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's so. That's one guy's perception of the album. But I think it was, pre- it was pretty well received overall. Yeah. I mean, it like... Obviously propelled their like I career. Yeah. How... Like, were any songs, like, relative hits, like... Yeah, I mean, Psycho at the Killer time, at the charted, time did like, well. very low, but okay. still charted okay. in America. So, I mean, like, they were, yeah, they no, were they, doing their they thing. They popped. They popped. Mm-hmm. Let's go back to Happy Day. Great. Thank you for Day. Robert Criscow. Oh, oh, yeah. I saw that one. I was like, no, that's, <laughs> that's right up our alley. <laughs> Just, like, barely readable. So, like, so wordy. And oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the original Pitchfork. Yeah. Yeah. I like this song. Some of the lyrics on here are just, just so overly positive. Yeah. I'm only looking. Feel like my heart has a will of its own. I feel nice inside. Right yeah. here. And now it's summer again. Yeah. Like there's not even anything like yeah. no drawbacks. Just a happy day. Yeah. That happy day moment when he goes high is crazy. Day yeah. To me. I love it. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, great. No, but you're right. Like they are fully formed. Like there's. Oh yeah, no. This I've, is you could play some of these songs. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. It's like off like an eighty-one album. Yeah, yeah. No, it like just this. sounds great, and like yeah, I mean, they're great at playing their instruments. Like Robert Criscow can't come for them. Like oh no, they have yeah the craft. Like I think this album is, is feels like Talking Heads with less of the experimentation, where like you don't yeah, have yeah, like yeah. the it's more straightforward. Like I yeah, think. Remain in Light. Like we talked about has like all yeah. the different African yeah, drumming yeah, yeah. and stuff mixed in there. Fear Fear of Music has like. More Some yeah. Darker, slower. Yeah. There's more Weird going on there. And yeah. Stuff. This and the, ne- yeah, the next right. album kind of feel like like this is Talking Heads. Well, this kind of reminds me of like simplest. they have like later album, like their later albums, like uh, what's the, like one Little Creatures or something. I actually have that one on vinyl, and I don't even <laughs> I don't know why. I, I yeah, have it's it, a but... cool it's a cool album cover. Oh yeah. But no, like I don't know. To me, that's like kind of more light. Like the same yeah. with Speaking in Tongues, and that this. I think the edgier albums are like Fear Music, Remain And it light. makes sense why yeah. a song off this and a song off Speaking in Tongues is there. Yeah, yeah. They're like... <laughs> the nice light sorts. song called Psycho Killer. You know, a Psycho Killer, a hit pop song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's weird. Actually, for some reason, I've been listening to the deluxe version. Yeah. Like, just like, historically. Like, yeah, I, I have too. I think that's what, they, that, that's what they put on Spotify, but I had to leave. Solid. I left it today. No, I went yeah, to sure. the, the real album. Yeah, you know? the real album. <laughs> Uh, uh, happy day. Now this yeah. is who is it? Who is it? Ooh. Like immediately, so funky. This is dancey. You can play this in the disco tag. Yeah. Convince trick someone. This could be a BG cut. Who is it? Who? And he's in that vocal too. Yeah. Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Couple of questions what getting begged it? here. Oh baby, it's you. Yeah, this one. I, this one makes me want to throw down. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I would love to hear a uh, James Murphy. I was this like this has of, it has exactly that energy. Yeah, that like James uh, Murphy would remix this. The perfect. opening of like <laughs> there's an LCD song called Yeah, Pretentious Mix. Mm. The opening is very uh, yeah. similar disco drumming. I, I would say almost <laughs> lyrically, this kind of could be yeah some some funny LCD song yeah. too. Stop. Yeah. Stop and just a big trunk. Watch this out now, baby. Because I'm in love with you. This is so great. <laughs> I'm in love with you. <laughs> Ten words in three seconds. <laughs> just that little Amazing. yelp yeah, in the yeah. middle. Yeah. yeah, no, just like to go to an early Talking Heads oh, show, yeah. it was just like these four like crazy looking like People wearing like, like polos and like yeah, nice. Yeah, pretty normal looking yeah. people. The and then they psycho just, David Byrne in the front. Like, 
<laughs> I would be, be nuts. Yeah, we. I meant to. I meant to bring you the suicide book I was reading yeah, today. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. but one you of the. Finish it. I finished it. Oh it was a great God. book. I recommend. Yeah. Uh, but one of the parts of that is that a lot of the book goes to describing how frightening Alan Vega was on stage mm -hmm. as a performer. Mm -hmm. There were like even stories of him like slicing himself with knives okay. and like getting in people's faces yeah. and attacking them. Okay. Um, but David Byrne would kind of scare me in a different way. In a different way, way more yeah. like an unsettling. Yeah, it's like he comes down and you're like, oh, this is just some art kids. Yeah. And then all he of starts. a sudden. <laughs> Happy day. <Yeah>. day. <laughs> His eyes are like yeah. looking at you kind of weird. Yeah, no. Like, I don't trust this guy. <laughs> A few years later, he's got like these big shoulder pads. On. Yeah, facts. He comes out in a weird looking Massive suit. Massive suit. Like, what in the hell? There's no compassion. No compassion. Now, this, this is song, a song I can get behind. <laughs> I, I think I was recently talking to you about this album. Uh, it's called Life Without Buildings. Yes. Self titled by this mm -hmm. band, Life Without Buildings. And like this, it's very talking heads, as you could assume. But like. With a title like that. But mostly, like, this album specifically reminds me of it. Maybe I'll cut to one song just yeah, as give an it example. To us. But I do recommend it. It truly bangs. Um, after this, after this. Sorry, actually, the album's called Any Other City. Okay, for sure. It is their only album. Yeah, what year we got here? 2000. 2000, bet. Pretty fascinating stuff. Meanwhile, in a world where people have problems. Yeah. In this world where decisions are a way of life. Mm -hmm. Just paint a picture in a world like that. Mm -hmm. They say compassion's a virtue. Yeah, other people's problems, they overwhelm my mind. Yeah. That's all I can think about. Yeah. <laughs> compassion. <laughs> it's like Morrissey. Oh, yeah. yeah. This one does kind it of sound whiny. smitzy yeah. off the top. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Let me just go back to that screen. Give it really to us. Quick. <laughs> that was his so reaction fuck. to us comparing him to Morrissey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. This is like, this is amazing. <laughs> kind of like surfy almost, almost. yeah. yeah. Let's say like a I wanna Tom that, Petty. That Pulp Fiction dance yeah. where you just go back and forth. That was such a, it's such a cool switch up from that opening oh, to yeah. the Oh yeah, no, and verse. then back to like the groupiness yeah. here. Yeah. Like the verse starts so great. So many people have their problems. I'm not interested in their problems. Yeah. I guess I've experienced <laughs> some problems, but... Yeah, but now I've made some decisions, and it takes a lot of time to push away push the nonsense. Push away the nonsense. He's become a guy with no empath empathy yeah, whatsoever. no compassion. That's how you make it in life, folks. I don't care anymore. I have not, I do not care about yeah. anyone else's problems. <laughs> my interest my level's own. dropping. My, my interest, interest level's level is dro dropping. Yeah. I don't want to hear anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Such a, just a, a funny, a really yeah. funny song. Definitely like some, some like a, he's being ironic, obviously. I mean, yeah, <laughs> like this is like his whole thing. Like, yeah. just yeah. like weird, what? like alien talking about being a human. Like, yeah. <laughs> what are you in love with your problems? <laughs> you take it a little too far. It's not cool, so cool to have so many problems. Yeah. You talk to your analyst. <laughs> oh boy. Isn't that what they're paid for? Yeah. Just like the line, I've experienced problems too. I have experienced problems too. Yeah, literally <laughs> not as if human. he is from another yeah. planet. I can understand. <laughs> I hear uh, you have problems. <laughs> I've experienced those too. It is actually not so cool to have so many problems. <laughs> yeah. Like that's what an AI yeah. would say. Go to you. an analyst. <laughs> is not what they're paid for? Yeah. Be a little more selfish. Might, might do you some more good. Straight up. Yeah, these switch ups are very Switch it black up again. Sick. Fire. It kind of breaks down into like a. This kind of sounds like an 80s piece. Yeah. It sounds a lot of it. Sounds like yeah. REM or something. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. Very bouncy. <laughs> no, that's like. Yeah, I mean, we said like this is their more straightforward album, but yeah. there's some trippy. There's all yeah. Moments. Oh, there. Like, it's still there. That was freaky. It's still there yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah, that one just stopped for a full like yeah. five seconds. Weird, and a weird time, amount in. of time. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna quickly cut to uh, give us the, track one on give any, us life any other things. city. It's called PS Exclusive. It's basically <laughs> a, Dave, a female vocalist, David Byrne. Got it. That it's, sounds her beautiful. Her voice like is crazy. Like she does some wild shit. It's groovy. Let me see if I get her name. 
Yeah. They also, <laughs> they also met at art school. Oh, any good band does. Yeah, yeah. Sue Tompkins on vocals. The right stuff. Also British. The villa. Yeah. Just like very similar palette. No, this is great. Yeah. They only made one album. Pretty fascinating. Come on, what happened? I know. LWB? Just LWB. <laughs> dropped one classic and dipped. Just dipped. Like, yeah. well, imagine if Talking Heads only dropped Talking Heads 77. That'd be that strange, yeah. They had, like, the Psycho Killer song. Yeah. So good. <laughs> They'd still probably... Yeah, this will still probably be Psycho Killer TikToks. Oh, yeah. Something, yeah. For sure. <laughs> anyway, that's PS exclusive. I recommend that album. You know. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it's it on. It's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. Very, it stays very consistent throughout. Uh, let's see. The Book I Read classic. Oh, here it is. The book I read. This is about the suicide book I read. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, was this so? Was this album produced by Bon Jovi? Is that what I'm? Is that who that is? Is that who that is? I just saw Tony Bon, bon Jovi. Tony Bon Jovi. I don't know. I don't even know. I think John Bon Jovi's the I guy. Think, I think it's John Bon Jovi, but this guy's related to him. I Tony think. Bon Jovi. Tony Bon Jovi, because <laughs> no, he, I think he John did change his name. Okay. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We're not going to worry about it too no. much. But Tony Bon Jovi is yeah. a producer on here. <laughs> yeah. The book I read. Yeah. <laughs> I'm writing about the book I read. I have to sing about the book I read. Yeah. I'm embarrassed to admit it. Hit the soft spot in my heart. When I found out you wrote the book I read. Oh. Yeah. So this if you met the author of the suicide book. Oh, literally, I'd be like, yeah. I'm embarrassed to admit that this... Book about suicide. I read your whole book Man. in like three days. Yeah. <laughs> it was very short. Yeah. Feel my, the feel my nice. fingers as they touch your arms. I'm spinning around, but I feel all right. The book yeah. I read was in your eyes. Uh-huh. Just falling in love with like the author of a book. Yeah. I can feel that when I read like an old book. Just fall in love with yeah. the author of this yeah, thing. Yeah. If only... Genius. They're so brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I like the little na 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 na. Vibing out on so the dance, like dance music. Na 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 na. Just love yeah. The titles of the book I read and don't worry about the government back to back. Oh back yeah. Is <laughs> it's so talking. About. Intellectual. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one just, just rips in the middle. Yeah. I hear him like scat or like you know. No. Na 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 na. You got the oh ho ho's, the na na na's, the mm mm's, yeah. the ooh's. Yeah, yeah. It's all in there. This is yeah, like yeah. Donna Summer, <laughs> I Feel Love, yeah. like this huge film. Yeah. That's yeah. no, just strange. Like usually he's just talking about some random wild shit. Yeah, that's actually... But to hear him just, like, step back... That was his native language, actually. Oh, that he was, was it. He was speaking there, yeah. <laughs> Finally. So he was, he was saying some stuff. On the book but, I read. Yeah. That was what the, how the book language the book was written. Yeah, yeah. He was just right, reading right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's so epic. Yeah. <laughs> the book I read was in your eyes. Us out, boys. Yes. <laughs> so j- joyous. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, this album is honestly it's almost like quite happy. Like, for, yeah, for, reminds me uh, of like Queen or something. I was like, thinking the same thing. Yeah. I, that Queen is like the same time period, pretty much, which yeah. like just doesn't make sense in my brain yeah. almost. <laughs> yeah. Queen existing in the same universe as other bands also kind of does. <laughs> like they just like. They just, Maybe because of that fucking movie. But yeah, they just <laughs> they just kind of like just exist in another universe. Their yeah. songs are like just on another yeah, yeah, level I mean, of yeah. like nostalgia. Yeah. Woo, Dave. Dave. You really hit that yeah. note there. Na, 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 yeah, when na, when na. was that? When was that first Queen album? Is that what you were looking at? Yeah, there? yeah. When? I was looking. I mean, Bohemian Rhapsody. That album dropped like two years before this. Okay. Seventy five. So this is post Queen. Yeah, Queen's like been around. Queen's been around. But no, they had huge albums at this time. Yeah. yeah. We will rock you, drop the same year. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they live in the same universe. This is a post queen one. Post queen rock. Hell yeah. The book, the I, book read. I read. A ripper. 
Yeah. A ripper about reading. Yeah. It's just, we love it. We love books. We love books, and we hate the government. Don't worry about the government. They're like, they're fine. They're fine. Just don't, yeah, you're right. They're don't pretty, worry about they're, it. They're I'm tripping. Tri- tri- yeah, they're chill. <laughs> this is a Sparks yeah. song. This is a yeah. Sparks song. Uh, I was going to say, like, beatles Like, this is like... <laughs> That's fair. No, you're right. <laughs> I see the clouds that move across the sky. I see the wind that moves the clouds away and moves the clouds over by the building. I pick the yeah. building that I want to live in. Yeah, <laughs> love it. Just yeah. saying, saying, saying facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That building over there. The second guitar comes in. Yeah. Huge. Drums are heavy. It's just Clean. a song about finding the perfect building yeah. in New York, you know? Like, it's, it's My that's building beautiful. is every convenience. Yeah. It's Consider be... what, what about life without buildings, though? Yeah. Think about that. Part of this is amazing. Let me just cut back. <laughs> My loved ones. This is like loved ones. The craziest building. songwriting. Loved ones will visit the building, take the highway, come up and see me. I'll be working. I'll put down what I'm doing. My friends are important. So crazy. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I like that the song is called Don't Worry About yeah. the Government. It's actually very personal. <laughs> and it's really like the chorus for the whatever this part yeah. is, the post chorus. It's just about, don't worry about me. It's about picking a building and having just, your loved ones and over. And enjoying it. Like enjoying where you live. Here's where it switches up a little bit. Yeah. I see the states across this big nation. I see the laws made in Washington, D.C. I think the ones I consider my favorites. I think of the people that are working for me. <laughs> Again, this alien, like, yeah. Civil servants are just like my loved ones. <laughs> they work so hard and they try to be yeah. strong. True. I'm a lucky guy to live in my building. They own the buildings to help them along. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Just like a, a very simple man. He's like, I live in a I building. I love my building. I love laws it's and so my con- friends. It's so convenient. <laughs> my friends come over. And there's and some certain laws I the love. The government gives me this building to yeah. live in. I love it. <laughs> Don't worry about that. It's that building. No, it's it's over there. Yeah. It has every convenience. <laughs> <laughs> so strange. I remember the first time I heard this song. I was like, Jesus. Was like, Jesus. This oh, okay. Bangs, though. It's wild. Oh yeah, that without fail, every yeah. track on here yeah. finds a way to bang. And I think like the title being "Don't worry about the government," like just when you see it, you're like, immediate oh, I'm worried. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's funny. It's funny. It's punk, man. Robert, like Christgau said, they're punks after yeah. all. It's punk unlike kids, those, man. unlike those wimps, yes. Yeah. Right? Like let's <laughs> rich kids sparks. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, I love that. Good song. Yeah, we're the final three tracks here. This is first week, last week, Carefree. Carefree. Hmm. I don't know the song very well. Yeah, I was, I was listening to this one a couple times today and it kind of just didn't stick with me. But <laughs> so let's give it another one. Let's go back up to the top. Can we run that again? Is that a woman's voice I hear? I said, let's wait and see. I'll see for myself. That's a phrase I repeat to myself. Made a reference to me, and that's myself. To myself. Yeah. Made a reference to me. That, that's a pretty cool single cover. The single cover, yeah, I guess this is the... I'll put it on the screen. The yeah. Uh-Oh Loves to Count single cover had this as like a... This is a 7-inch? This, yeah, the back single on the other side. Got it. Really, honestly... It looks like a Christmas yeah, I was about to say, al- like album a, cover. Is this is somehow it? a Christmas song? <laughs> yeah, probably, <laughs> somehow. <laughs> Yeah, this, this one has a very interesting percussion. Yeah, no, yeah. It's like the... I don't know if it's like a... Yeah, what is that thing? It's like, to me, that's, it's like the fish in, in music class. No, yeah, grade, that's something I like, played as <laughs> in elementary school. It might be that. To <laughs> me! Yeah. This Every, report's incomplete. Yeah. I can see for myself. No, he just sounds so raw. Oh yeah, there's like no effects. I don't know. And he's not Squealing. like a an 
I mean, he's a, obviously a great singer, but he's not like a like a, a singer singer. He's like just. I mean, like, especially at this point. Like, yeah. This is the beginning of his career. Like there's those vocal cracks all over yeah, the place, yeah, yeah. and it's just no, completely it's raw as fuck. It's pop. A little sax. Yes. Shout out Billy Joel. I love every appointment has been moved to last week. Last week. Yeah. Every appointment has been moved to yeah, last week. Yeah. Wait, let's go back up. What does it say? Every uh... yeah. In the first chorus, it was "What progress have I have, I have made the first week?" First, week. first week. And then by chorus two, every appointment has been moved to last Got week. Got last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I made so much progress the first yeah. week. So I mean, <laughs> what a good feeling. Yeah. Every appointment's moved to last. First week, week last week, just carefree. Nothing on the you nothing on the calendar. It. You just yeah. it so yeah. hard last week that yeah. Now you're just carefree. It's still got a great, great flow to it. Just like business yeah, music. It's like business <laughs> music. No, they have all sorts of stuff like that. There's a song on building and food called yeah. Found a Job. <laughs> great song, honestly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> David Byrne album. Fun elements. Yeah. No, truly like... An early show, it would have been a dance party. Like, it, would it would have been, have been a full party, dance party. Yeah. According to Wikipedia, their first ever gig was opening for the Ramones in 1975. Serious? Yeah. Imagine, imagine that being your first gig as a band. I wonder how the Ramones fans reacted. I could, I can't imagine too well. Yeah. They probably were pretty bored. Like spoiled wimps. <laughs> These spoiled <laughs> wimps. All right, Psycho Killer. Uh, there it is, folks. This track. Yeah, I don't really know this one. Uh, um... Oh, more underground. <laughs> it's just a bass. I don't know. Yeah, just bass. This special sounds here. weird. Is I don't this like Stranger this one. Things or <laughs> yeah. Okay. Huh? Is it? I don't know. Is that Stranger Things? Yeah, that Spotify looks like visual them. looks pretty. I guess they threw this one in Stranger Things too. Yeah. Apparently. See it. Apparently. This is an amazing song. Though. Yeah. yeah we'll, uh, jokes uh, aside, jokes aside, I've heard this. I've seen this one even covered. Plenty of times, yeah. I feel like sure. by, by bands. Yeah, no, I think I like I heard in a David interview once. Like this is the first song he ever wrote. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Damn, it's a good one to write. <laughs> Killer, qu'est-ce que c'est? What does that mean? I guess yeah, I've never looked French. that up. Yeah. yeah, this is French for what is it? Kind of returning to the yeah, who exactly. is it earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Psycho Killer, what is it? Yeah, but it sounds so much cooler than that. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Yeah, Psycho and then I love the fa 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 fa. Yeah, ah. that that's probably the thing yeah. that makes this song what yeah, it is. Because yeah, yeah. every time sky, I hear yeah. this in the crowd, the everyone has the yeah, bah, bah, yeah, bah, 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 bah. and then the and this too. Amazing. Just some good sing along. It's a very simple song, like uh, oh yeah. Conversation, you can't even finish it. You're talking a lot, but you're not saying anything. Those are the lines I always remember when yeah. I come back to this. Yeah. Song. Talking a lot, but you're not saying anything. Say something once. Say it again. <laughs> he sounds so like, I don't know, like a uh, raspy sort of in this one. This has why that say it again? Why say it again? Sounds like Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> say something once, why say it again? <laughs> no, this has that classic like uh, uh, once in a lifetime type, mm-hmm. like, yeah, just huge talking head song. It's great. I mean, it's funny that this is a song titled Psycho Killer that, like, is not scary. No, like, this it's, is not it's a, fun. It's just, like, a fun song yeah. called Psycho Killer. Yeah. But more French. Yeah. That art kid. See, like, yeah. I didn't even know they were saying French here. Like, I, I just <laughs> like those must assume be he's just saying weird words. Yeah. Uh, the first one is French for what I did that night. Yeah. French for what she said that night. Yeah. Realisant mon espoir. I guess I definitely knew that part was French. <laughs> that one's a little more clear. Realizing <laughs> slash achieving my hopes. Yeah. Killing. You know, killing. Yeah. Uh, and then finally, the last one is I'm going for it. <laughs> okay. I think it's about psycho killing, but in French, so it's like it's like a Frenchman sort of obscured. It's yeah, because you don't want to just know. be singing about yeah, killing. Yeah. You know. No. Yeah. It's funny. Like in my head, I've always it's just like. Psycho Killer, Cascasse or something. Yeah, Cascasse. Like, I don't know. I do like the line at the the end of that uh, 
chorus or whatever. We are vain and we are blind. Yeah. I hate people when they're not polite. Yeah. Straight up. <laughs> The idea that this guy just kills people who are not yeah not You're polite. not being polite they talk so. too much yeah. etc yeah <laughs> no very fascinating song <laughs> like even in the yeah, I mean in the English lyrics yeah. like what is, what is even happening like I don't know like, there's a psycho killer yeah and you need to run <laughs> like yeah. that's as simple yeah. as it gets yeah. <laughs> guitar solo close us out Jerry Harrison Shit. Up. Amazing song, though. It's an excellent song, and we all know that. Yeah. And it charted at 92 out of 100 uh, on the Billboard Hot 100. That's pretty good. That's Only pretty good. 91 behind Andy Gibb. Only 91 behind Andy Gibb, as we'd all Tough. like to be. Like, yeah. <laughs> as be close as you can get to near, Andy Gibb. Yeah, really. anywhere near Andy. <laughs> See, this, the end yeah. of the song, kind of frightening a little bit. It was like yeah. a... A little something. Oh, great track. First album, like, just to have such... To have a, that one on there. Yeah, 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 that's amazing. One of their most unique songs. Yeah. Let's go to the final track. Pulled Up. Pulled Up. Pull Up. The songs just start immediately. Oh, yeah, no, we don't... You don't get a moment. No. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Classic. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, come look at me now, cause yeah. I'm a big man in a great big town. Years ago, who would believe it's true? Goes to show what a little faith can do. <laughs> yeah, pull me fun. up. He was complaining. He was down in the dump. Yeah. He's been pulled up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that progress, like the. Yeah. The oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> Just a guy going through life, falling down, yeah. coming back up, yeah. slipping again. Yeah. <laughs> coming back up. This song's so fast. It's, no, this is quick. This is like almost ska. Yeah, We're yeah, on the, on yeah. the verge of ska. On the verge of ska, truly. Zero with wave ska. Yeah. <laughs> oh, explosion. <laughs> A solid outro. Yeah, I think like, he, uh, you have this in your car in '77. Like that'd be yeah. amazing. Oh yeah, if you be... jump in the car and he's playing. Oh pulled yeah, up. Oh. pulled up. Yeah, <laughs> you just pulled up, playing pulled up. You just pulled, pulled up. up, playing pulled up. Yeah, you just get in the car. Yeah, it's a simple. <laughs> no, don't don't play talking heads around the hose, you guys. No, okay. I think. No, you you can play Psycho Killer play around psycho the hose. Play naive melody. Play naive melody around the hose. Play Happy Day around the hose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this was released with Sire Records. I don't know. Yeah, I'd never heard of them that before, is. other than this. Let me see what else we got. Hey, what do you mean Lou Reed tried to sell, sign them? Like, uh, like uh, here, here, I'll read you the the excerpt on here. He had a label. I didn't. Yeah, I mean, at this point, what is this, mid-70s? It's on this one. Lou Reed. A month later, Lou Reed, who had seen a few Talking Heads shows at CBGB, invited the trio to his New York apartment, where he began to critique the group's act, telling them to slow down tentative decisions, yeah. which had originally been fast and bass-heavy. Reed also suggested to David Byrne that he never wear short <laughs> sleeves on stage in order to hide his hairy arms. <laughs> Over breakfast at a local restaurant... Lou. Reed expressed a de desire to produce the group's first album okay. and wanted to introduce them to his manager, uh, Johnny Podell. That same po day, Podell called the trio to meet at his office, where he immediately offered them wow. a recording contract. Wow. But they didn't end up signing. Gotcha, with gotcha. <laughs> Lou Reed brought them over to critique their act. Yeah, so dude, your arms are way too fucking hairy. <laughs> You're projecting, bro. <laughs> yeah. I think maybe, maybe that's, that's why you wear long sleeves. Yeah, true. <laughs> No, it's a fun outro. It's a good, it's a solid outro. Yeah. It's just like kind of a fun song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a very a whole different thing, Buckley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it bangs, yeah. Yeah. He's complaining. He's, just, he's down in the dumps. But now yeah. he feels so strong. Because you hold him up. <laughs> it's just fun. <laughs> American rock music. Yeah, this is 
Yeah. It's a great album. We can we can kind of outro it here. No, I, I there's a few tracks on the deluxe version that I always thought like were part yeah, of the like, album. Yeah, uh, like I know that uh what like love the yeah that building one's fire that's like really their quick. that was kind of their first single. Actually, ooh, I have another thing I wanted to play as well. Okay. There's a we can cut to this first. I'll play this first. Yeah, this is what it's. This is a great song. Love, love building on fire. Love arrow building yeah, on fire. Yeah, an, an arrow in the track. <laughs> It's, yeah, I don't know. I'm surprised it wasn't on the record, but yeah, you gotta you gotta track. keep some for the heads. Maybe it's too earnest. Yeah, true. It didn't didn't fit in with the character. Yeah, yeah. The killer. The killer. Yeah. This one's about how like uh, they they are not love. Like this this they yeah. They, yeah. And they say that they're like we're not the band love. We're not the band love. Yeah, Do things a little different. Yeah. No, this is, this one's groovy yeah. as fuck. I love the genius annotation. David Byrne making noises. <laughs> he does that sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Our love is like a building on fire, baby. It said, what was the Laurie Anderson lyric that was very similar to, yeah, to this, actually? I don't know. It was like a... It could be anything. Our love is like a, is like a building on fire. It might have been. I couldn't like tell that. you. I'll figure it out. What track that's from. Yeah, I know. Figuring out what Laurie Anderson track. Ooh, that horn. Yeah. Yeah, there's some other tracks on this deluxe version that are pretty cool. But uh, yeah, the the one that I kind of wanted to hear was uh the acoustic version of Psycho Killer. Sure, sure. That features uh fucking Arthur Russell on cello. Are you serious? <laughs> on here, yes. I did not know that. And the the Laurie Anderson song is Let X Equal X, and she goes, I feel feel like I am in a burning building. Whoa, is okay. what she yeah, was saying yeah, yeah, about yeah. there. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. And, so, uh, similar, similar. <laughs> and Lou Reed and Laura Anderson were together for. They were years. together, as of course. Yeah. So we got connections. I've seen some like interviews. <laughs> I've gotten recommended some interviews with them recently. Yeah, amazing. Sure. Weird as hell. No, they have great chemistry. I'm at, okay. No, they just like they're just perfect for each other. It's sweet. You can hear the the cello on here. Arthur. I guess we we kind of we kind of talked over it. Yeah, It'll come back in a second. Studio speaking. Yeah. So this part's all the same. You got the bass. This is also track one on the stop making sense. Like when mm. he just opens with just yes. himself. This is pretty cool. I don't hear cello. It's not here yet. Yeah. It's coming. I can't seem to face up to the fire. Jesus, yeah. <laughs> This is a weird Arthur Russell cello. Oh, yeah. I mean, when you bring Arthur Russell in the studio, <laughs> it's going to get weird and it's going to have a cello yeah, in it. cut ahead see what else happens. I think, like, the rest of the track, entirely the same, except those parts. One, like, cello are, second. Yeah, I think the cello is throughout, just whenever it gets okay. to that okay. section of the song. No, cool. What was the other thing you oh, wanted to, uh... Yeah, there you go. Um... I think that was the other thing I wanted to cut to. Okay. Yeah. The, the Arthur Russell cello. Yeah, we talked Laurie Anderson. We don't need yeah. to listen to that. Um, I guess uh, that's the album. It's a very, very that's quick album. The album. Yeah, I mean, it's what, 35 minutes or yeah, something? Like, yeah. Perfect. No. Um, great song. Great album. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. No, great. Yeah. Uh-huh. One I haven't dove into too much. No, honestly. Uh oh, Love great. Comes to Town was honestly a, a standout mm-hmm. to me right off the top. Yeah. Just like a simple ditty so it's a naive <laughs> melody it was a nice ditty <laughs> it was a nice it's ditty a off the top good little ditty yeah uh and then yeah just just good tracks throughout like there's not a i, I wouldn't say there's a, any misses on throughout yeah. those 11 tracks yeah and throw love building on fire in there too maybe yeah. it's well maybe it didn't fit on the maybe yeah, it didn't, gonna, fit. It didn't fit on the record yeah. um yeah what do we want to close out to here mm, great question um Shoot. I think that a love song. Though. A love song love. would be great. We do have plans to talk Forever Changes this year at some point. That's it's this uh, year? When, yeah, did, when a, did they drop that? 67? 67. 67. Uh, I believe I like November or something. Yeah, it's got to be in the next few months. So stay tuned. Yeah, play something off that then. I'll play something off that. Uh, yeah, November 67. So let's go with And More again. Sounds good. <laughs> nice little chill outro. Oh. <gasps>
Thanks for listening to the Daft Tongues song. We Thanks for listening, folks. Love yeah. you. Subscribe. Do your thing. Hit a subscribe. Bang that like button. Yeah. And uh, et cetera. Stream Follow. love. Stream love, dude. Love's like a building on fire. It's so true. Yeah. So true. And I would say I feel like I'm in a burning building. Wow. So, like, yeah. it so all, like it all kind of adds up. Yeah. All right. Love all right. you guys. Love you guys. <laughs> and more again. Oh,